The pieces transport you to so many different kinds of places. I was fascinated by the sheer skill of the performers. Incredibly energetic. I thought it was really interesting, like there was a whole kind of like world of percussion instruments I hadn't really thought about before. My name is Joby Burgess, I'm a percussionist and I'm the artistic director of an organisation called Powerplant um, and we've made a new show called Pioneers of Percussion which we are premiering here today, Lancaster Arts which is situated at Lancaster University. I really wanted to kind of make a new project where I could play some of these works that really represented who I was and what I thought about uh, solo percussion playing. So I picked the pieces which I loved the best which were pieces by Takamitsu, uh, Zanarkis and Feldman. They gave me quite a lot of freedom. They have graphic scores, and so I wanted to play these pieces particularly. But I love working with composers and producers and writers, and I spend nearly all of my time doing that. So I couldn't not have some new commissions as part of this project. So I chose three wonderful women to work with. Uh, Rebecca Dale from London, um, Linda Buckley from Dublin, and Nicole Lisey from Montreal in Canada. Sometimes the danger of beginning to write for percussion is to try to do everything at once. So there's so many possibilities. You might want to have them you know, play everything, but I really wanted to restrict it and focus it in because a lot of music that I love um, maybe has a very contained world. So um, whether it's like medieval music or you know, it kind of stays within that atmosphere for a while. So a lot of music I love is very atmospheric. And um, for a lot of my own music as well, I like to merge electronic sound and acoustic sound. So this is what I try to do in this piece where I have recordings of Joby in the electronic part as well, processed and things like that. So there's a strong connection between the two. The piece is called Ecstasis. So it's all about a sense of joy and hope and ecstasy. Um, and I think it's been a recurring theme in a lot of my recent music that I haven't even been massively aware of, but maybe sort of instinctively. Um, so I felt for this piece to really bring it to the fore. I was very keen to work on the vibraphone. Um, I, I just think it's a magical instrument. It's really, it's really beautiful. A lot of the work that I do is, it uses big forces. So I, I write a lot for, for orchestra and for large ensembles. So for me, working with Joby gave me the opportunity to have the challenge of just picking a single instrument. And it's been a wonderful process for me, actually. My piece is about our, our brains when we're trying to go to sleep and that weird little thing that comes into your head and kind of the more you the more you fight it the more it continues to go round I think walking through the door tonight was just like walking into a parallel dimension I mean some of those sounds that we heard tonight were just unlike anything that the audience had heard before and it was a real revelatory experience absolutely loved it so fabulous to hear music by three female composers as well and, and three world premieres in one evening. We were really treated tonight, it was fabulous. I particularly like the sort of like um, live sound effects that are taking place, so like having the delays and reverbs. I particularly like the aluminium harp. I thought the performance tonight was exhilarating. I thought the lighting was amazing. I thought Joby was great. I thought the show was fantastic. Um, I've seen some of his work before, and I think one of the things that's really refreshing about it is um, being able to come and just immerse yourself um, in the sound, all of the different acoustics from the different instruments. <laughs> 